Hello everyone and welcome back into this special video. Uh, I know that today the uh, at 6 p.m. at my local time the the 1970 challenge will finish, but uh, this is a special video that I want to show you guys. As you have seen in my previous uh, live video, I've showed you like uh, like a prototype uh, of this car. Uh, they called the um, called the blue the blue wave or the blue something. But this is the final product. I've been working on this car like all morning, and I think it has finished. Uh, but before we crack on with the specs and everything else, I would love uh, if you, I want I want you to enjoy the video. Enjoy it. That's the that's the most uh, that's the priority of that's the priority of my day and of my videos of course. And I want you to hit that like button, get subscribed, and share the video if you want to share it. And now you can enjoy. Uh, reading about the specs of this car. So obviously it's a hyper car. Um, of course this is a famous body from a famous car. I'm not gonna mention the name of it. But I've tweaked the body. I added this front lip, these uh, angry sleek headlights, carbon fiber side mirrors and carbon uh, of course carbon fiber rims, carbon fiber rear, rear wing and everything else. But as you can see from this uh, engine cover, it's a mid-engine car of course but it's obviously has a this car obviously has a massive engine under the under the bonnet or under the hood, which is a 14 liter V16 engine making 2,700 horsepower. Yes, my friends, 2,700 horsepower from a, from a 14 liter V16 engine. Dual of head camshaft for uh, it's four valves four valves per cylinder actually, not five. Four valves with with VVL and VVT, and the whole engine is actually made with plus five quality only. No plus fifteen quality, nothing like Alien. But of course, the engine block is made from magnesium, and the, the cylinder heads are from aluminium silicon. And the engine the engine is running on 98 octane fuel, not 100. It's making 200 and 2,700 horsepower. Maybe 14, I forgot, 14, 14.2 PSI boost, something like this. Uh, very, very awesome, all-wheel drive, dual clutch gearbox, immense amount of speed and superb acceleration. Now, the challenge is, of course, uh, all of you, uh, you know, wants to see this car being driven in super high speed. Which will you, which you will see right, you know, in a moment. But first, let me tell you, it was a, it was a very, very difficult challenge. First of all, this is a modded body, this is not an original body. Uh, from automation developers uh, and it was really difficult because uh, this body is weird in its way the aerodynamics of this uh, of this body is very very weird and uh, the, the car kept scraping on the ground although the the ride height is reasonable that was a problem so I had to fix the suspension with very very hard suspension on it and then I tried to drive it and it, 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 the car immediately crashed because the Whatever aerodynamics I have on it at the time, it was very rubbish. So I had to put this massive rear wing and push the, the aerodynamics and the downforce of this car to the max to keep it from spinning out and crash. And it's still a challenge to, to drive. Really, really challenging. Alright, so this car looks actually very beautiful. Carbon ceramic brakes and everything else. Very very beautiful. All right, so let's see what's what. Of course, we have push rods, uh, front and rear suspension, so it should be awesome to drive. So zero to hundred in two seconds only, two point oh. As you can see, the car is still scraping on the ground. Although I fixed the problem, but the body itself is weird in its way. God. And the steering is so sensitive, like you need to be super careful. If you want to get this car, you can go by to my Patreon page, the link in the description below, you'll find this car free to download if you want to download it. It will be really awesome. You can enjoy driving this car, but, but I think you need to have the V16, but don't worry, I'm gonna upload the, uh, the BMNG file. The car is really scary to drive, really scary. I have super amount super amount of downforce, really super hard amount of downforce. And uh, the suspension has been tuned 
not to not not to go super oversteery, but the power is so so brutal. Oh my god! Top speed of this car is 420 kilometers per hour. I've tested it on the BMG uh, grid map. I can't even dare to push the throttle 100% on some on some corners. It's really that scary. And you know, controlling 2,700 horsepower with, without any kind of traction control. Oh my god, that is super scary. Let's do another lap and let's pray to God that I'm not gonna crash the car and total it. Can you imagine if if you are actually if you are actually like the president or the manager or the owner of a car company, car making company, and the company you know spent spent so much money and so much effort to design and make a single car, and then the test driver will get in and total it. Oh my God, that that, that would be super, super, super sad, and super. Focusing compatibility, not yet, not yet. All right, 100%. Oh my god! Oh my god! Ooh. Super scary! And oh my god! Oh no, 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 no! The brakes are actually started to fade. Have you seen that before? A super, a hypercar. This is a hypercar, and I have racing brakes. 100 on the pad type. Six pistons front and rear with massive 370 millimeters front and rear discs, and they faded. Well, to be fair, the car, this car, oh my god, stop. I truly hate the, the steering because it's super sensitive. I hate sensitive steering. I swear, I hate it so much. And I hate every game that will offer, you know, sensitive steering. So what I was saying is, have you seen such brakes that I swear in 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 automation game the brake fading is zero percent on all three, and I'm using 100 on the pad type and 370 or, or maybe 75 on millimeters front and rear rotors. Six pistons and still faded because the car weighs two tons. Yes, the car is not light at all because I'm using a sport interior premium entertainment system. So it's a hybrid car. This is not a racing car, so it's still a comfortable machine. So you know, so you know somehow, and uh, it's still very very prestigious, extremely safe because I'm using the maximum or the highest safety option which is the advanced 20s of course because imagine imagine you know buying this car and having an accident with it you want to live because this car is super quick and will obviously have an accident like on high speeds so you need to, you need to be safe oh my god that was very scary and the wheel spin is only 2% but on on any oh my god stop 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 on any gear it will spin the tires oh my god oh crap it's really hard to control it super hard it's all wheel drive can you imagine this all of this power on rear wheel drive it will be rubbish uh, the weight distribution of this car is 60-40, 60% of the rear on the rear axle and 40% on the front axle. Yes, of course, it's not balanced. It's not really 100% balanced, but uh, with, with the power distribution, you know, set more the, more to the rear because, of course, the rear has extra weight on it. But that means extra grip. Uh, the power distribution is uh, 35 to the front. 
five, six, five, whatever the rest of it to the rear. I'm just focusing on the driving. I can't think of anything like mathematical to tell you. It's really good actually when it, when you learn to, when you learn how to drive it. It will be an amazing machine. But if you are like new to the whole idea of 2,700 horsepower, 3,000 horsepower in a, in, a, in a hybrid car, yeah, turn on traction control so you don't crash. And what I really love about this car is you have seen the performance, you have seen how scary it is to drive. Just put it in drive, drive slowly. It will, it will drive very smoothly, very beautiful. And it will actually, the, the gearbox actually, to, the gearbox tune is actually very beautiful because, like, imagine yourself like driving. 120 kilometers per hour or 60 miles per hour the gearbox will shift up and it will let let the engine rpm you know drop down to save fuel which is really awesome and reaching 120 kilometers per hour i mean requires no effort at all check it out i'm pushing the the throttles oh, like 10 12 percent 14 percent and look at the speed i'm going 160 and I'm pushing only 14% of the throttle, 170. Wow. 180. I'm pushing 11%. That is absolutely beautiful because the engine is extremely torquey and the, 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 the turbo is actually not laggy. The turbo actually kicks in at uh, 3000 RPM. Yeah, yeah, you need to be careful like steering it because as I have mentioned before this steering is super super sensitive Like you need to you need to be really really careful One wrong turn and you will total the car. I Want to turn on texture control, but Let's drive it like a man It's super wide also Oh my god, it's super torquey, super super torquey, because well, it's a 14 liter engine. I mean, even if even if the even if the turbocharger uh, is not spinning, even if, the, if even if the turbochargers are not spinning, the engine on its own, as as naturally aspirated engine, is superbly torquey. Like just a touch of a throttle, and off you go. That's what I love about huge engines, because. You don't need you know you don't, you don't need to go super high RPM to get power. You can get all of the power on very very low RPM. I mean torque, not horsepower. And it's quiet. It's very very smooth. This V16 engine is has a smoothness of I think 89 or maybe 90. I forgot, but something like this. So this this engine is one of those engines that you can put like a coin on top of it. Or a glass of a glass of water, and nothing will nothing will move or shake. That is really awesome. And we have semi slick tires. Yes, they are working fine, not bad. But on the snow or on the on the icy road, is these tires are actually rubbish. But not bad. And remember, this is all-wheel drive. I'm not. I'm not driving rear-wheel drive. No, this is all-wheel drive. So, what do you think about this car? Tell me what you think about it in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you think about it. And do you like the looks of it? Do you think it needs um, more attention? Because I've tried like all of my best. Like the suspension is tuned to 100% sportiness and um, I think 89.7 on uh, drivability. The car is super drivable, super sporty, like 109, I think, 109 points on sportiness. The comfortable points are 12 only. It's not really comfortable. It's a racing car or a hyper car at the same time. So yeah, it has some sort of high, uh, you know, of hard suspensions, hard suspension setup. But it's very, very good if you if you learn how to drive it. If you are, if you do really know how to control it, it will be an amazing machine. Uh, and 2,700 horsepower, with, and the car can get 12.3 miles per gallon. So, not bad. We have double digits, double digits on the on the fuel mileage, which is 
really really cool so what do you think about this car tell me in the comment section below i hope that you like this car and i hope that you enjoy the video this is a special car and i would i would really love to you know uh to use this car in future videos or future challenges or whatever videos that i'm gonna do in the future and because this and because of this car i got inspired for the next challenge after this one after this 1975 gt premium car challenge finishes and after we we'll, we've all you know we'll see the video and we you know all of us will know who's the, who, who was the winner of it but also not but or after it we will i'm gonna be telling you what sort of a challenge will arrive but you can guess what it is you know based on this car if you want if you if you want to start to practice you know, the sharpest viewer will already, will already know what kind of challenge I'm talking about. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. So hit that like button, get subscribed, share the video, uh, the video if you want to share it. And you can go to my Patreon page, link in the des description below to get this car and many, many other cars if you want to if you want to get them. And of course, if you want to support the channel, also you can support the channel on the Patreon page. And um, as I've mentioned before, all of the future challenges and the pre previous challenges if you want to participate in them, you need to add my Discord so you can send the file on my Discord. And of course, you can have fun also on Discord by chatting with everyone over there and having, you know, so much fun discussing automation and uh, cars or whatever. So thank you so much and goodbye for now, my friends, and good luck with future challenges.